G'day, g'day, and welcome to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. And take a listen to this clip and tell me what's wrong. This is certainly no ordinary inline six powered BMW E46 3 Series because the owner for some unbelievably crazy reason has decided to make it sound like a trumpet. But nonetheless, this is going to be one of the most fascinating and interesting videos that I've ever done. A BMW 337 CI. This car started out as a New Zealand new BMW 318CI that some dad drove out of the dealership for the first time with a crummy little four cylinder and an automatic transmission under the bonnet. And obviously it lived its life for the best part of 20 years until the owner bought it around three years ago and did a lot of modifications. It has work emotion wheels, 330CI brakes, front and rear now with slotted rotors. It's sitting on MCA Pro Sport coilovers, which naturally lowers it down quite significantly. It obviously came with all of the factory M Sport kit, which looks really quite cool, especially with the blue paint, but you'll notice it now has a carbon fiber roof. Not only is the roof fully custom, but the headliner inside has also been fully redone to match. And then you get on to the interior. When this car was purchased from the dealership, it had fully old man gray interior with wood trim. But as you will see, none of that is left. All of the wood trim has been painted a sort of dark metallic gray like what I had in my M3. The steering wheel has been fully recovered with perforated leather. The gauges now rev to nearly 8,000 RPM, which gives a hint as to what is under the bonnet. It's got a screen down here to show all of the information that the owner needs to know about the engine that's been put into it. The seats are new. The door cards are all new. So that it basically looks as close to, I guess, an M3 interior as you can get. And of course it has a manual transmission. But now, what you've all been asking, what is under the bonnet? That engine, as you'll be able to tell straight away, is definitely not the original inline four. In fact, it's not even an inline six. That is a VQ37 VHR out of either a Nissan 370Z or a Skyline 370 GT. Like with the E46 M3, this makes right around 250 kilowatt. And it makes even more torque, 375 newton meters. So effectively, you're getting E46 M3 power, but using a cheaper and easier to find Nissan engine. A lot of you will probably be wondering, how on earth do you get a BMW to torque to a Nissan ECU? Well, the factory Nissan ECU, which has been chipped, is hiding over there, which then talks through an Arduino to all of the BMW CAN bus sensors and equipment on the car so that all of the gauges work exactly as they should. Then it has a dry sump oiling system. You can see there's an eight liter oil tank there at the front, which then goes through a series of pumps. And he had to do that because the engine is too tall. It actually doesn't fit under the bonnet with the factory sump on it. It has fully custom headers going into a fully custom exhaust. The two intakes on either side go right down into the front bumper and are fully custom. The owner made them himself out of carbon fiber. And then otherwise, pretty much everything else about it is pretty standard VQ37. The engine came out of a Skyline. The transmission he bought brand new out of the US. It's a 370Z six-speed manual transmission. It's then going into a 330Ci drive shaft and rear differential and rear axles. Truly and absolutely unbelievable build it took him the best part of two years to put together and he did pretty much all the work himself it's fully custom and it looks absolutely immaculate inside and out a very exquisite and attention to detail build i love it now let's see how it drives driving the bmw 337 ci i used to own a skyline so i know how the vq operates and i used to own an e46 m3 but i've never had the two of them combined together but let's see what it's like Okay, yep, no, that is fast and a lot of RPM, that's for sure. 
I see what he means. The owner was saying that it does kind of have s 54 e sounds to it. And you know, I can kind of see what he means. Oh yeah. I know a lot of people say that these VQs sound like a bit of a trumpet and they kind of do. But I kind of like it. The handling on these coilovers and Pilotsport 5s is a masterpiece. The short shifter that he's got on here makes changing gears a joy. It's so tight from gate to gate. And the steering feel is really good. You can just tell exactly what the front end's doing. Push it through some of these corners here. And it just handles so beautifully. Because the 370Zs have a slightly shorter final drive, and this of course is a 330i back end, it does mean that the gears are quite long. Like I'm sitting in second gear here, and it, it does take a little bit of winding out to get it to go right through the gears. But when you do, it's fantastic. The only negatives, the steering is extremely light. Uh, it doesn't have air conditioning, so I'm getting very hot in here. The rev hang is a little bit annoying, but again, I feel like it's probably something you can get used to or maybe even tune out with further adjustments. It's super easy to go through all the gears. Oh yeah, listen to that. Everything about it just puts a smile on your face. It's a combination that you would not expect, but boy, is it good. And when you get it out on a road like this, Oh, it is certainly unlike anything I have ever driven, that's for sure. The sound, the power delivery, and just the uniqueness of the build is absolutely awesome. And I mean, oh, just have a listen to this. That is some serious performance, man. Fantastic driving car. It's really well put together. Everything about it is just absolutely brilliant. I mean, <laughs> thanks very much for watching. This thing is something special, man. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.